Okay, so you go to connect.ptc.edu and log in with your P number. This is how you log into the virtual environment that is hosted by Piedmont Tech in order to do our class. In this particular case, it's CPT 247. When you first log in, after you log in with your P number, you'll get this option that asks you to do an installation. You'll want to check I agree and click on install. It's going to pop up. Save in your downloads. Hopefully your, fa your internet is faster than mine. But if you look right here, it says, please wait while the download process begins. Once the installation is complete, then click continue. So we need to run the Citrix online plugin. And of course, if you're running Windows 7 or Vista or Windows 8, it's going to ask you if you're okay with letting this install. Say yes. So of course we're waiting on installation to finish and time passes. I could do the Jeopardy music here, but that just wouldn't be good. Let's just skip it. And basically what this is is a plug-in that works with Citrix and Tech uses Citrix Zen app in order to kind of broadcast our access to the virtual machine. Okay, so installation completed successfully. We click OK and now we can click Continue. Now it's redirected us to the Citrix site, and now you want to click on the SCVMM self service portal. That takes us into the actual virtual environment. And strangely, I'm getting this, so um, that usually is caused because the plugin didn't kick in. The browser doesn't know the plugin's there. So you could save that and then double click on it, it would open. Um, we'll try that approach. The other approach is to close out the browser, start over again, and then the plugin will be active. So, and you're going to get this about there every time. Let's say permit use. So now it's asking you to log in. Now for students, your login will be your P number. So P, whatever your number is, and then your um, pathways, desire to learn password. Don't let Internet Explorer remember your passwords or whatever you're using. Also helps to know your password, obviously. After you get logged in, you'll then see the virtual environment. Now I have a VM here that was here previously. We'll start with a new one on the next video. Thanks.